before we start talking about graphs of logarithmic functions, you need to remember or recall what uh, what the inverse of a function is. And this is what I unsuccessfully was trying to get you to start thinking about at the end of last time. If you have a function here, use a simple one like that, y equals 2x plus 4. Think of a function, when you first learn about what a function is, it's a, it's a rule or a, you know, and even somebody, your teacher might have used the model of a, a machine. You have a, you have a machine that takes whatever number you put in and it multiplies by 2 and then adds 4. And a number comes out. The inverse of that is going to undo that. So, I mean, just think of some numbers that you put in here. Make a table of values, right? X, and this is a huge table of values because that comes out the other side. Uh, if you put in a 0, what do you get here? If you put a 0 in, you get what number out? Multiply by 2, you get 0, you get 4, right? If you put in a 1, what do you get? You get 6, and if you put in a 2, you get 8, and so on, right? That continues along. The inverse of that is going gonna, is gonna to take these and turn it back to what you started with. So it's going to take a 4 and turn it into a 0, and take a 6 and turn it into a 1, and take an 8 and turn it into a 2. Okay, It's going to have these. These are going to be reversed. It's going to undo that. Okay, Instead of going this way, it's going to go this way. All right? It, so it, it undoes that. What rule is going to do that? If you were... If you were first multiplying by 2 and then adding 4, okay, the example of going to the door or locking the door, even though uh, I didn't necessarily think through it carefully. Um, if, I'm, if I'm going to the, go, going over to the door, i got to walk over to the door, um, close the door, and then lock it, right? As you so astutely pointed out that I had the order wrong <laughs> in how I was leaving the room. If you come back in, okay, if I'm if I'm leaving the room, that's what I need to do, right? I need to do it in that order. If I'm coming back, uh, I guess I should be more specific here. Walk to door, right? Walk to door, close the door, and lock the door, right? If I'm coming back in later, what do I have to do to undo those things? I have to do the inverse of this. The inverse of locking the door is unlocking the door. And then I have to do the inverse of closing the door, which is opening the door. And the inverse of walking towards the door is walking away from the door, right? The inverse undoes all those things. And you're going to apply them in the, in the reverse order, right? The first thing you did is walk to the door. So then when I'm undoing it, the last thing I do is walk away from the door. So if the first thing down here is... Multiplying by 2, the last thing I'm going to do over here is the inverse of that. What's the inverse of multiplying by 2? Dividing by 2, right? So the last thing I'm going to do is divide by 2 because I want to undo these things. If I'm going backwards here, if I'm going back this way through those, those operations, the first thing I'm going to do is the inverse of this, which is what? Add 4, what's the inverse of that? Subtract 4, right? So first thing I do is subtract 4, then I divide by 2. Okay? Then Does that work on these numbers? If I take a if I take a 4, does that give me a 0? Does it give me back the number I started? So if you put 4 in there, so if you put 4 in, you subtract 4 then you divide by 2, does that give you 0 like it says down below? It does, right? If you put in a, a 6, does it work to give you a 1? Does a 6 give you a 1 here? So you put a 6 in, you subtract 4, you get 2. And then you divide by 2, you get 1. Any, any pair of numbers that we write over here, if we reverse it, it works over here. The inverse... The inverse you can describe in a lot of different ways. You can describe it as the rule that you know undoes the operations of the original function. If this is called f of x, 
Then this other one here is its inverse, F inverse. You, you abbreviate it with a little negative 1 there. Okay, F inverse of X. That little negative 1 when you use it with functions means the inverse, not the reciprocal or, or any kind of exponent. It's probably a bad notation, whoever was the first to decide that that's the notation they're going to use. This means inverse. You're going to look at some other functions. Actually, on your calculator, you've seen that before. Not with uh, logarithmic functions, but with, with trig functions. You've seen on the calculator... Uh, let's make some space here, actually. You have seen... You've seen... You know, well, you have that button on your calculator. And what's the button that undoes that button? What's the button that undoes that function? Yeah, it says sine with a little negative 1. That's sine inverse, right? And cos inverse and tan inverse. Really, you could, we could have this button, and I guess somebody could have come up with a notation log inverse, right? Except we don't call it that. What's the inverse of the log function? Anti-log, right? 10 to the x or whatever it happens to be, right? Anti-log. But it's the same idea. Those are inverses of each other. The log function and the anti-log function are inverses of each other. The sine and sine inverse, um, adding 2. If you have one function that says x plus 2, its inverse is x minus 2. Subtracting 2 is the inverse of adding 2. If you, uh, if you want a kind of a, a method you can use here to find this, you know, I just did this by thinking about what's the inverse of that in the reverse order. If you want a method, what you can do is do this. Uh, we got some space over here. If you say y equals 2x plus 4, what I set up here is that these points and these points are switched. Like the inverse has x and y switched. Okay, switch x and y. The x values and the y values are switched. The, the coordinates of the points are switched. If you're looking at a table of values. If you're looking at an equation, actually, it's the same way. If I take this and I want to get this other function here, like the original function was y equals 2x plus 4. The inverse would be, what does it say here? If I had to write an equation for that, what would that be? y equals, if I first subtract 4, x minus 4, and then divide by 2. I guess I don't need the brackets there. It could be like this, right? x minus 4 over 2, that's the inverse. If you want to find one from the other, you can do this. You can switch x and y here. You can take that and, change, and you know, change it with the, with the y. If you trade places like that, that's going to give you the inverse. This is the inverse. It's not written as a function of y. It's not written as y equals, but that is the inverse. Okay. Switch x and y to get the inverse. That's the inverse function. If you want to write it as a function, you can solve for y, right? Then solve for y if you want. If you want to write it as a function. If you want to solve it for y now, you have x equals 2y plus 4. If you put this on the other side here now, or if you, if you start to isolate the y, I know some of you think, as you move that to the other side, what does it become here? x minus 4, right? As you're, as you're isolating y, you're creating all the inverse operations. In solving for y, you use inverse operations. You've used that since grade 8, right? To start to isolate the y and you move that, that 4 over, you think of it as a minus 4 on the other side. x minus 4 is 2y. To get rid of this 2 here, the way you did it in grade 8 is just by either thinking divide both sides by 2. So w what was multiplying by 2 on one side is now dividing by 2 on the other side. You're using inverse operations to solve it. Oops. So you end up with x minus 4 over 2. That's the inverse. The inverse, you end up with the opposite operations, the inverse operations on the other side. Whatever point works in this, the reversing the coordinates work in that. If AB is a point on this one, then BA is a point on 
this one. Okay. Now we're going to look at how their graphs are related in a second here, but I better. Stop.